Name him right in front of him. Now you are not less than thousand memorizers. The um, standard narrative has holes in it. But on the contrary, we find a uh, Muslim hadith book as highly regarded as the uh, Jamia Sahih of Imam Bukhari presenting two narratives which, which say that actually there were only four memorizers of the Quran who had memorized the Quran in the lifetime of the Prophet. And uh, this is obviously in stark contrast with the claim that there were thousands of memorizers. Name him right in front of him. Now you are not less than thousand memorizers. Actually, there were only four memorizers of the Quran who had memorized the Quran in the lifetime of the Prophet. Uh, it is reported by Anas ibn Malik. He says, Matan Nabi, Walam Yajmail Quran, Gairu Arba. And then he names those four persons. Abu Darda, Mu'az ibn Jabal, Zaid ibn Sabat, Abu Zaid. So it says that these are the four people. Only it's, it, it, the, the, the style is very restrictive. It says, Lam yajma'il Qur'an ghayru arba. Only three, four people had memorized the Qur'an. I'm saying memorized because most of our scholars interpret this narrative, the word jam'a, to be, to connote memorization. Um, seni, name him right in front of him. Now you are not less than thousand memorizers. Actually, there were only four memorizers of the Quran who had memorized the Quran in the lifetime of the Prophet. Less than thousand memorizers. Actually, there were only four memorizers of the Quran. Thousand memorizers. Four memorizers. Thousand memorizers. Four memorizers of the Quran. Thousand memorizers. Four memorizers of the Quran. Thousand memorizers. What is all of this going on here?